hats off to LZ Manufacturing, Drift HQ, Adam LZ, putting the car together. But guess what? Robert Thorne was on it. Pin it to win it. Let's see what you got. Adam LZ and Robert Thorne. Adam LZ initiates the Drift HQ, BMW. You can see those TE37s coming to a hole. Oh, and Thorne makes a major mistake in the chase position. Talk about how locked and loaded it is, but look at this. This is all new. Bill is looking dialed. You know, you got to think, here's Air Thorne, who's had five previous rounds in a car. His car's still together. LZ's got this, like, tight and right, nutted and bolted, the whole thing. Boom. LZ delivers for the kids. It's all for the kids. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a, I mean, it might have been a, a copy-paste of the car that was there before, but every car, no matter how well you build, it's going to be different. And Adam has adapted this so quick. And Robert Thorne just struggling a little bit through there. I love the amount of extra angle that Adam throws in to get you that set of outside zones, able to follow everything through. But yeah, Robert Thorne does, was able to correct his mistake and then keep everything kind of dialed through the rest of it. I'm going a little bit wide there over our impromptu jump. So there's anybody who can, though, it is Robert Thorne. This yes. is, he just eats pressure for breakfast. Like, <laughs> is, that, is, that how he's, is that how he stays fit? He is he's, so fit. Just, just a diet of pressure. Stress and pressure. pressure. <laughs> yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Here we go. Robert Thorne, Stuttgart Racing, ASM, into that first outside zone. This is what we saw yesterday, Jacob. Look at this. I mean, absolutely dialed. Love it. He is just precision. Adam he jumps out of the smoke. And he stays, he keeps it breezy. Easy breezy, beautiful. Adam OZ. And that Drift HQ BMW. So make some noise. Adam OZ, Robert Thorne. Real interesting. Yeah. Real interesting. What, yeah. What's interesting? Uh, obviously, Robert Thorne had a, a pretty decent mistake there in the chase, but Adam not super in the game here. Right. I mean, look at Thorne out front. Oh, that is a insane. solid first outside zone, and Adam just trying to keep up at this point. Right. Second outside zone from Thorne looks great. Third outside zone could have been a little bit deeper. Adam having to cut some line there. Come to the inside clip, transitioning out. Adam gets caught up a little bit, but then both of them do a good job through the fourth outside zone. So it does kind of come down to that first outside zone and, and what happens there, at least in my mind, what mistake was bigger. Here we go, slide of left for Adam LZ, right for Robert Thorne, and Adam LZ gets the win! Adam LZ, after a crazy couple weeks getting that car back together, nice. Here we go, Adam LZ, Dan Burkett, a lot of eyeballs on Adam LZ, not just because, you know, obviously creating videos, creating content, but this build was put together in two weeks. Um, rode off his car in St. Louis, said he was done and got back and he sent me a photo. He's like, shh, don't tell anybody. I was like, no way. <laughs> so pretty amazing. And we'll see the Drift HQ. BMW E36, big angle from him, looking really solid. And you can just see the massive amount of angle from Adam LZ into that second outside zone. Transitions into that third. Oh, it looks like Dan Burkett gets up close and personal. Looks like maybe they, they definitely tap. Oh, oh yeah. Burkett goes back. Oh, man, Burkett. Yes. Look at Dan Burkett. He is just rumbling. Look at that. You can see that back bumper <laughs> flapping. Oh, my gosh. What, what a battle. That was all business up front, Burkett, that's dude, for that sure. Business and partying. Man, look at, even before initiation, right, Dan kind of nudged him, remind him, hey, this is where I want you to initiate. Now, LZ out front, tons of angle there, has to pull some out to get back into the zone. Rad Dan comes onto a lower line with tons of angle, and LZ just back in the car into the second outside zone. And Rad Dan taps once, taps twice. Oh, man, Rad Dan just absolutely so sick. just breaking in that new BMW for Adam LZ. <laughs> And, and, and Adam out front, he does a really good job. He has some some quivering or, or some shaking there in the first outside zone, but through two and three, everything looks really tidy. And I love the fact that Adam just stays in it. Dan's hitting him over and over again, and Adam just puts his foot to the floor and drives through the entire thing. It goes a little bit wide into our impromptu jump there. But uh, wow, I'm, I'm super pumped for this. Now, now I just want to know what's going to happen next. All right, so a good run there from both these guys again. Just... This course just really brings out so much dynamicism. Is that the word? Is dynamicism? It is now. Yeah, boom. Jared is a Jaredism. Jaredism or dynamicism. So great job there by both these guys. Dan Burkett, Adam LZ. Now Burkett looks like Adam LZ getting a little checking his oil out back. I think okay, they're just obviously. pulling all the broken parts I off know. at this point. 
It's like I just bought this. <laughs> it's brand new. Stop putting holes in my shit. And, and he was he was initially Adam was super bummed about uh it was in Jersey where he like broke some TEs. He says these are like the only set in the world. Obviously he had he found some more. The yeah. TEs. <laughs> the E thirty six fitment. It's probably just stacks of them at right. the compound. Yeah. yeah. Break break glass in case of emergency. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And it was an emergency. It was. Definitely going from St. Louis to here. It's it's really amazing that even the car is running as good as it is. I'm not saying the teams don't know what they're Just doing. Just out of the but gate. Like, but, yeah, I mean, most drivers have to go for shakedowns and testing days well before they ever debut a car. And they're like, well, we're just going to do it right in practice. Right? Yep. All right, here we go. Second half of this battle, Dan Burkett will lead Adam LZ. Coming down the mountain. Through that start chicane. Let's see what Burkett's got out front. He initiates Adam LZ in tow. And Burkett, good angle. A little bit of a gap here between Burkett and Adam. Now coming down into the power alley. Let him know you're here. Now into that second outside zone. Man, Adam LZ. Oh! Oh, oh Burkett loops it! Burkett makes a mistake. LZ was missing outside zone three. He came in shallow, and Burkett made a mistake under his own power. There was no contact there until they, I mean, they did they barely tap right there at the end? Just a little kiss. That's oh, it. man, what a bummer for Burkett. Man. He was on it, and he loops it. Adam dives in on the inside. Let's watch this again. Yeah, Adam, I mean, he pulled out at the at the perfect time because, I mean, if he would have kept charging through there, that could have been nasty. Yeah. But, wow, yeah, Rad Dan. I mean, what a what a gut-wrenching moment for Rad Dan. Just was right there, had everything, you know, in front of him, ready to go. Could have won that battle right off the bat. And, uh, yeah, just loops it. So, <laughs> Let's take a look here. So Rad Dan out front looks good. Adam struggling to keep up with the Supra. Having to push a little bit harder as we start to get the car to wrap around. Now, let's see here. Has anything crazy happened? Dan through two, backs it into three. Just tons of angle, and that's it. Rad Dan just tries to basically back you through three. And thankfully, Adam LZ able to pull the car away just in time. But, I mean, man, one one small mistake, and uh, that's it. That's That's what it comes down to here. Formula Drift. Yeah, what a, what a crazy turn of events or a turn of a super. It looks like, again, Adam LZ, Dan Burkett, and LZ gets the win. Adam LZ, a lot of fans cheering him on around the globe and here in Monroe, Washington. Right. Beecham, his team, absolutely elated. He's been turning it up, man. He has really been hitting his stride. Uh, Adam LZ would love to say, all right, well, cool story. I'm going to put a stop to that right now. Here comes Adam LZ, that Drift HQ LZ. MFG. E36. Adam LZ pulls away a little bit. See him compromising, taking some angle at it, but now just throws a ton of angle at it. Look at that. High on the bank. Beach him a bit lower. Coming to that power alley, into that second outside zone. LZ digs deep. Yes, sir. Wow, look at that. Oh, man. Into that last outside zone. Dude, like you said, to your point, no shakedown, no breakdown. Just, he, dude, I saw a clip. He, he posted on Instagram. He's like, all right. First practice run, let's go. Yeah. Like, never, never, nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Just. I, I think Booth did two laps of the compound, and that's about all this car saw before getting shipped off. And look at this. Adam LZ, great job. Very stable through the first outside zone. A little bit of a left foot break. Gets a bit deeper there. Beach him. Kind of, it's kind of shaky there. Now, things get a little bit more dialed through the second and third outside zone, but then through this inside clip, both drivers have an amazing transition. Then Beach him finally falling into the pocket. So. LZ out front, great job. I mean, I'd like to see him hold that proximity to the wall all the way around, but outside of that, great work. Beecham, though, in the chase, had a few moments that he could have cleaned up, so I, right now, Trent's got to just throw down. He's got to throw a heater, I'm, and I'm expecting him to. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he definitely, he's going to throw it, but he, you saw that on that bank seemed like he was a little bit underpowered compared to, to Adam's setup right now. He... He is hitting it. So here we go. Watch for Adam LZ. He's going to be aggressive. He's not going to let Beecham run away from him. So here it is. Beecham, good angle from him. A lot more settled out front now. Look at that. So Adam LZ, but like I said, he is right there. He is not letting him get away. Now watch this transition. Outside zone three. Beecham does get out there. He barely taps it, hits it, and quits it. In that inside clip now. Transition now in that final outside zone. Look at that surge. You see Adam LZ kind of chomping at the bit. Makes a noise for Adam LZ and Trent Beecham. 
Yeah, great run from both of them. We, we've heard Jeff in the interview earlier talk about getting up into the marbles. As the tires wear down, they, they literally produce these little rubber marbles that go up and hit the wall and sometimes bounce down. So there is a, a spot right now on the track where things can get very tricky. But Trenton Beach, a very stable, holds that outside zone quite well. Adds just a touch more angle right here to get out to the second outside zone. Not super deep. Same thing to the third, trying to pick up as much speed as this track does start to tighten up at this time of day, especially in the shadows. But Beecham and Adam looking very parallel. Adam really mirroring. I mean, his, his focus on, on developing that part of his driving has, has done quite well. Yeah. The proximity is great. I mean, it's super easy to tell when someone's much closer than the other person. But look at how, look at the front wheels. Wow. They're just, they're mirroring each other all the way yep. through. Adam doing smart. Not diving in like crazy, not doing anything crazy. It, yeah, just great job from both yep. drivers. Yeah, very calculated run there from Adam LZ, and and like I said, didn't go didn't go full 11, turned it to about 8.5, and right there in tow. Beecham had those mistakes. Let's see what we got. Oh, I'm a lot of people are people chanting one more time. I don't know if they want to see it again or if they just. One at, where are my Adam LZ fans at? Make some noise. Oh, side by side. Where, you know what that where, means. Where are my Beecham fans at? Make some noise. All right. It's, it's pretty equal here. Yeah, so Beecham out in the lead, I mean, I would say has a better first outside zone in the lead, but in the chase, not quite as good. Adam does a much better job of being parallel. Now, Adam does a better job to the second and third outside zone in the lead, but Beecham is closer in the chase inside clips. Pretty much mirror images of each other. And then same thing, Beecham just closer through four, but Adam does a better job mirroring. Man, I I got nothing. No idea. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see if uh, if the needle goes either way. We've seen another one more time. I mean, shoot, we saw, you know, we still have Turk and Odie one more time. Uh, almost a one more time there with Manoa, or we saw one more time with them. And here we go. Slide him left for Adam LZ. Slide him right for Trent Beecham. Adam LZ gets one vote. Two votes. Adam LZ gets the win. Unanimously, LZ advances on. LZ, if, if, if a lot of things. LZ, <laughs> LZ might be on the podium if, yeah. We'll, just, yeah. we'll just play it out. There's, there's, a, there's a few there's scenarios. It's going to get complicated. You, yeah. We're good. We'll tell you when it when Yeah, you know. basically, Turk and Odie dictates if LZ is, is on the box or not. But you know what? Regardless, they both want to win. Uh, Manoa and LZ to guarantee either first or second to get into the finals. Here we go. Hero Manoa, 14 years old against Adam LZ. Obviously, content creator, car crusher. He's got his own LZ World Tour. He's got his own events. He's popping all over the place. And here we go, Manoa and Juku Racing. Jerry Yang Racing, 86. Second place at a previous round in St. Louis. LZ with that victory last year, leaving the RTR camp and campaigning his own vehicle. Here we go, Manoa down into that power alley. Filling all that second outside zone, transitioning into the third. Now, tight on that inside clip. Good composure there by Adam LZ in that final outside zone. That got a little sketchy. Yeah. Kind of attacked on that transition and checked up, but kept control. That that got a little hairy. Yeah, split second longer, and he would have been into the side of Hiro Manoa, and that would have been nasty. So, all right, this is, we are getting down to the fine margins and details here. Hiro Manoa right to the wall, first outside zone. Adam holding a really good line there, where you can see him just fighting the car to get into the pocket. Kind of on the throttle, off the throttle, on the brakes, off the brakes. Now holds things really well through the second outside zone for both drivers. Just a, a unison, just just like oh, just a beautiful transition yeah. there. Inside clip looks great for both drivers, and that's the dive that Jared was talking about. But Adam, I mean, fourth outside zone, right where he needs to be. So the drivers are really focusing right now on getting um, the exact line that the lead driver has. So. They're, they're making sure that the line and angle is there and then hoping they can gain proximity. And that's what we're seeing a lot of right now. And it, it's really, really cool to see because that's such a hard thing to do. Not that, you know, driving really close to somebody is easy. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, I mean, both drivers had a great run there. I, this is mm -hmm. where it did not the move. This, this the is why they're there. Yeah. This, is, this is why they're there. Here we go. Adam LZ now out front. Manoa in the chase position. Send it. Here we go. Adam LZ, who's moving on? Who's going to the finals? Look at Adam just 
ripping into it. Manoa, good composure. You see him just get right there in the pocket. Adam LZ really high on the bank. Manoa, 14 years old on phase. Look at the angle from Adam LZ. Throws some more at it in that second outside zone. Just barely a tread off course. Manoa takes a tighter line. Adam LZ dives in on the inside clip. Manoa, look at the young buck. Gets to the side of Adam LZ. Pushing around Adam LZ. Makes some noise, Seattle. Woo! Dang. Yeah. Dang. Hot dang. It got hot in here, baby. It got real hot in got here. It got sweaty. spicy. Got spicy. The, the Scoville level's off the charts. Oh, this is this is awesome. I mean, we haven't seen a, a, a Manoa this aggressive either. Normally, he is very smooth and cool and collected, and the horns came out on this one. <laughs> Adam LZ out front, Manoa chasing, and you can see here Adam just trying to get away from Hero Manoa, who's just deep in the pocket. I don't know how he is seeing it. That cabin is completely full of smoke. Right drive. Oh man, that is the saving grace <laughs> here. Adam fills all of the first outside zone. Maybe going a little bit deeper. Third outside zone looks great. Inside clip, everything looks copacetic. And that transition, first hit there from Hiro Manoa. Overly aggressive. 14-year-old just trying to bully Adam LZ. Yeah, I definitely want to see like the overhead. I think that Manoa did miss outside zone three compared to uh, Adam. You know, Manoa missed it compared to Adam LZ, and then that last outside zone looks dynamic. Love the shot from from Justin Smash there, the FPV. But I think the the true serum will highlight a little bit. Here we go. Take a look at it again. Here's the true serum. Yeah, they're chanting one more time. They want to see it again. Oh. All right, let's see what we can find with this run. I mean, Manoa definitely closer than Adam. Adam out front, doing a good job. Both drivers through outside zone one looks good, but Adam getting in tighter to the second half, filling all of the second outside zone, third outside zone as we come through there. Man, this is so close. This is so close. And look at that hit from Hiro Manoa. I mean, man. I, this is why I'm not a judge. This this exact reason is why I'm not a judge. It's, it, it's a great one. Oh, man. What do you guys think out there? Yeah, fans erupting. Yo. All right. I mean, we know they want it one more time. Yeah, I mean, it, it was it was a great battle, but uh, you know, do you, do you think we have a victor? You don't have to say. Ah. Uh, yeah. I really don't. You're not a judge, dude. You're I know. You're I not. really, I I would not be able to pick. I I feel like I'd hit one more time more than any other judge. All right. Well, we got a verbal here, and basically, one judge says Manoa. One judge says Manoa. One judge says one more time. And the third judge says, one more time, they're going at it again. The crowd erupts. So there is no contender left here, but now the mid-pack gets really mixed up with Manoa yep. and LZ coming up through the points. I mean, this now we're starting to look at who's going to be third, maybe right. even second in the championship. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and again, Manoa currently sits in fourth. Yep. And, and with LZ yeah. in seventh. Seven. So here we go. Manoa out front of Juku Racing. That Jerry Yang Racing 86. Oh, LZ takes a little bit of angle at it. He works his way. Look at the proximity here from LZ. He's shimming his way. He is trying to force an error here for Manoa in that second outside zone. Now through the power alley. Manoa dives in on that inside clip. Let's see what we got. Adam LZ takes it out. Let's him pass and re gets that position in that last outside zone. The crowd erupts. So the complete opposite of what we just saw, which right. was, you know, okay, one more time, I got to dial it back, take it a little bit safe. Nope. Now, no, Adam LZ, here Manoa. Nope, we got to go harder. Yeah, Mano yep. Manoa said, uh, hold my juice box. Yeah, this was, uh, this was nuts once again. So look at this, Manoa right up to the wall. Now Adam LZ gets into the pocket. This is where we start to see that worming back and forth to try and get the car in. Now Manoa adds a little bit more angle to that section. Look at just LZ, just back and forth, right. back and forth. It's like he's trying to parallel park in between Manoa and the wall. And through the third outside zone, not able to really get in there and then transitioning to the inside clip, but LZ does gain some ground through the last part of our fourth outside zone. Oh, man. You know, I, I some people have said that Manoa has great control and can place the car. Some people are saying maybe he's a little slower. Yeah. And, but. And I think that's evidence right there, seeing how Adam is dancing and going back and forth. And, you know, hey, that's a spotter's job to say, hey, he, maybe he's a little slower. 
modify accordingly your right. line and your speed and your temperament and in in the placement of your vehicle. And I think that's what Adam did there. Maybe he got hung up and choked up on that inside clip. That's why he dove in the inside. But he allowed him to pass, transition, and then drop back into the pocket. So here we go. Adam LZ now out front. Send it! Seattle! Here we go, that Drift HQ, BMW E36, Manoa chasing him down, Adam LZ. Good angle from him, Manoa hanging with them. Talked about uh, the speed, look at that angle again, he pours some more on it, this is what he did on that last battle. Now come into that third outside zone, look at Manoa! Manoa grinding on him, into this last outside zone, LZ of Manoa, toe to toe, the crowd erupts here in Seattle, stomp your feet, make some noise. Did you hear that? Oh, man. I just, I just called the doctor. Oh. I called the doctor because that was sick. That was so sick. <laughs> that was so sick. Oh, oh man. man. I, Adam LZ's ability to huck, angle, catch the car, and get back online is just nuts. And that's what we're seeing here. Look at They are parallel. They are mirroring each other for that entire outside zone. Look at Adam hucking in the angle, holds onto it, gets back on throttle, pushes all the way through two. Mano anticipates both of them. Great job through three. Then taps his door for a good measure. Inside clip looks beautiful from both drivers into outside zone four. Manoa once again just mirrored. How is he how is he 14? How is he driving this way? It's like he's a 60-year-old man who's Sim, been driving every day of his life. Sim racing, dog. Sim, Sim is playing a major role in the game. You know, he took what 5,000 turns on his sim before each round. So he, he he goes back to goes back to Japan and just I mean thousands of turns. This is absolutely wild. And Adam out front doing everything he can, like hucking this angle in, getting back on throttle, keeping the tire smoke going. Just Jeez, look at these. Look at the smoke. The smoke eaters down yeah, there. Smoke eaters, man. I love it. Yeah, brother. Front row in the splash zone. Oh, man, just their ability to be parallel all the way through it is completely wild. Man, I'm, I'm so pumped. So let's take a look here at our BC Racing Custom Coilover side by side. So we know the leads are wild. We know the chases are wild. I mean, you can take your pick as to what you want to watch. But look at Adam LZ doing a really good job there, whereas Manoa a little bit further back but able to parallel the car. So as we transition into our third outside zone, Manoa with that touch. Doing a really good job, obviously. Adam getting a little choked up through that section and pushing. And wow, what a zone! What a what a battle! What a battle! Again, both these guys guaranteed podiums, but obviously want to better it. Get up there on the box, you know. Again, Manoa got second place in St. Louis. Adam got a victory last year. He's currently what did we say sixth in points, seventh, seventh in points. LZ thought his season was over after totaling E30. So here we go. Slide it left for Manoa. Slide it right for Adam LZ. Manoa gets one vote, two votes. Manoa gets the win unanimously. Manoa, back to back podiums. At minimum, second place for the 14 year old. LZ locks in third place.